you are working as well no yeah you know uh Raj, like i told you uh, we are working in uh security you know yeah uh, so it's still the same uh, yeah i understand you had told me that he, he, so he, 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 i told you that long ago and you know he's right. uh, he's working as a scrum master and mm -hmm. and i've come to realize that uh even in program being a program manager there mm -hmm. are there are roles pertaining to like the other of looking on LinkedIn, and you have a uh, program manager roles that are aligned with cybersecurity. You know, again, uh, I saw roles like program manager for slash program manager, uh, hyphen cybersecurity, privacy mm -hmm. and compliance program manager. You know, so. Uh, that's, and that's where particularly me, it, it really doesn't matter, but that's where me, because I already have a security background. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think that having having a security background for me be a plus, even if I have to be a program manager in a company, mm -hmm. uh, having something to do with security compliance and or cyber security would, would be good for me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it's not uh, you no know, uh, simple ones to just go ahead and take it. That needs a lot of preparation. Uh, ever, but at the same time, I would like to highlight that you know the kind of domain that you're in is really really good. So yeah, stick to that. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, you no, know, see uh, if you can see my screen this is the content that we will be covering as part of this training starting from introduction to program management itself so as part of introduction to program management we, we you know uh, we'll learn about you know the overview you know what 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 is it that we'll be you know going through like definitions of program management how do you manage Related projects and initiatives, you know, uh, you know how do you coordinate? Uh, how do you approach to achieve these objectives? So we'll learn uh, all, the, all those things, okay? And we'll learn, you know, what is the role of a project uh, program manager? Responsibilities, you know, so how how can we set up our program objectives? How can we ensure alignment with our organization strategy? Whatever strategies or objectives that you're having how is it aligning to the organization so we will learn that and then we'll learn about you know you know project uh, project planning and scheduling and also we'll learn about program versus project management what is the difference between program management and project management very very important thing to understand because there is a lot of confusion among people, you know, in terms of, you know, what is program management and project management and uh, where is that line that differentiates between these two, right? So we'll try to understand that, you know, difference, detailed difference. Also, we'll learn about the program life cycle, but then, you know, uh, just like project management, we have, you know, there are a couple of, uh, stages in the life, life cycle of a program initiation phase planning execution monitoring this closing uh, such phases so it's the same that's there in project management also any of you here are BMP certified Raj what was the question yeah, in any of you here are PMP certified? No, no, I'm not PMP certified. Okay. Right. No, not not you also, right? No, no, I'm not. That's me. That's me. No. Okay, okay. Sure, sure. Cool. So yeah, we we'll, Do you we'll think learn. that uh PMP certification would be would be really good for this? It, it will be good, but the thing is, this PMP certification, it's like, uh, you know, very hectic and very, very, you know, stressful. Uh, it's not a pretty straightforward uh, certification like all other things. This is more like, you know, very, very process-oriented and... Uh, 
you have to go through a four hours four hours exam right and uh, you know and uh, i feel at least i feel it's not worth spending so much of time on that instead okay. you know you can take up certifications which are much easier than that which has more okay. value also right so yeah it adds weightage to a resume, but the effort that you need to put here is too high. It would be too high. It should be really tough to manage. So better, better, you know, uh, stay away from it until and unless someone asks you asks you to ask you explicitly to do that certification. Okay. Like if like assume if you get into an organization and there if they mandate you, hey please do this PMP, you have to do it. Then you can think about it. Otherwise, you need not. All right, sounds good. OK, sure. So yeah, we'll learn about program security and objectives. And then you know we'll learn about project planning, scheduling, stakeholder management, who are stakeholders, what are the kind of stakeholders that we need to manage and uh, you know once you have the list of stakeholders to whom you know you need to scale, you know uh, pass on the information to then then you figure out how to communicate to them will that be via weekly e weekly meetings or you know emails how, how to communicate to them we'll try to understand then we'll learn about risk assessment and mitigation you know how do you assess the risks how do you prioritize the risks how do you you know uh, how do you, you know, mitigate risks, basically? How do you mitigate risks? So we, we learn all those things. And then as part of monitoring and control, see, as I told you know earlier, every project will have this monitoring and control phase where, where you know, uh, where, you know, after a certain development, you need to monitor how things are going, right? And make sure, you know, uh, it is within the limits or boundaries of whatever you had set. So how does it work is what we'll try to understand here. And then we'll learn about how to evaluate a program and uh, you know improve the pro current program that you're doing. So yeah, but these are the various modules that we'll be covering as part of this training. Uh, any, any questions or, or anything that you had in your mind and I have not listed here, in that case, let me know. We'll work on that. All right. Does this sound good? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, fine. So, yeah, uh, I, 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 I don't know if I... go, go ahead. ahead, go ahead, Raj. Go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 please go, please. Go. Yeah, I was just saying, I don't know if uh, I don't know if Alan has anything to anything, anything to ask, but I'll just thought that's what she, she doesn't have problem. Oh, no, uh, uh, I do have something, a couple of things like, um. Are there going to be any case studies that we're yes. going to do, or we will take case studies? We will take case studies, and they don't discuss topics on that because if you're not taking any case studies or real time examples, then it would be tough to follow. Yeah, right. That that we will have. It would be really tough to follow. So we'll take a case study, and what are topics that we're discussing? We'll discuss keeping that case study in mind. And we'll run through the same thing overall, like a project throughout the program. We'll do the same okay. thing, right? Okay. Like take for example, assume you are a program manager for a uh, for a program where you guys are planning to develop a fitness app, right? How do you go about that? Right. right. So you know, we we can you know take such examples and you know uh, kind of break it down further and see how it flows through with the various uh, stages that are there in program management. OK? All right. OK. Any other questions? Uh, no other question right now. OK. OK. Erango, how about you? No, I don't. I don't have any questions. I uh, clear all my questions. No questions for me. Oh, okay, sure, sure, definitely. 